Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and it's time to do a quick go over of the second wave of Montezuno. Now, this is going to be a pretty short review, as there really weren't any new products put out, aside from some new Montezuno. And um, they're not really going to come out with anything like the bandolier and stuff until the fall, and hopefully we'll see if Jax will let me take a look at those. But, an important note is that Jax did fix my core issue, which I brought up on my previous review, which was the core issue. Yeah, the second wave of the core fixed the initial problem with all the breakage and stuff by significantly increasing the quality control. You can tell a wave two apart from the fact that the locking device, rather than having a little lock symbol printed below it, actually has the lock symbol on the locking switch itself. The lock also feels a lot more snug. I mean, the construction looks nicer, the paint jobs are smoother and more evenly spread. It's just, in general, a good thing, and that's, that's good because it means that I'm not really going to take credit for how much of was pointed out, even though I did point out a bit of it, but Jack Specific noticed a problem, found it, and dealt with it. And that, that is more than I can say for some companies. So, good job, Jax. Another thing that's happened to the cores is they've actually gotten a little bit more sensitive to launching, meaning that the launcher really isn't quite all that viable anymore. I guess that's kind of the trade-off. However, if you're looking for control, I've actually discovered that an of glove works surprisingly well because it has the rubber grips on there but it also has the cloth padding in here which allows it to absorb the shock when you launch it with your finger so your hands aren't stinging quite so easily. I think if the, they made another glove that like covered the thumb and forefinger with this kind of of glove like thing, maybe kind of like an archery gauntlet, then that would actually work pretty well as um, that's kind of my biggest issue is that it makes it sting whenever you launch it too much. Another thing, the card game doesn't seem to have picked up as much as the toys. Um, the, the toys have been selling fairly well. Most stores that have them have room for the Wave 2 stuff that's been coming in, but the cards just don't seem to be selling quite as well. I, I think maybe because the tie-in with the toys is actually rather tenuous, and it, it doesn't really have as much of an impact on the game. I think if there were the toys being used in the advanced game, like I said before, then we'd probably have a much better layout. Anyway, there are 11 new Monsuno in the second wave, 5 Cortec, 4 Eclipse, and only 2 Storm. Now, I've got 3 new Monsuno today, the 2 Storm Monsuno released in this wave, as well as another Cortec which came with one of the Storm and was the only way to get it. Hydro is definitely one of the cooler ones, being a land shark kind of thing. It also has a really interesting ability in the game in that it gets more powerful and more cards will attach to all the Monsuno. Crossbolt is kind of a cross between a wild boar and I'm going to say a crossbow, hence why it has the name Crossbolt. Um, it actually has a very simple fold-out design, which makes it pretty nice. And finally, we have Longfang, a new Cortec Monsuno that's appeared in the show. It's a saber-toothed tiger-looking Monsuno with a fold-out design similar to Lock, and it's notable in that it is a launch for Monsuno with an actual base attack bonus. There's some other in the line that look kind of interesting, like Firewalker looks like it might beat Black Bullet's length for record. It just looks really, really big. And there's also some others like Lever-X, and finally Air Switches come out. Yeah, I'm a Storm fan, so I don't like that they're not really making so much. They, they really, if they're going to build, like, there's going to be three sides. They need to give them an even spread, not less than a quarter of the monsoon that are out there. I don't know. Cortex got to run out of monsoon eventually, right? I don't know, maybe Storm needs some kind of guidance series or something. You know, when they have their own team consisting of idealistic teenagers, however the ideal they believe in is that monsoon need to be heavily controlled. That would be interesting and be a great excuse to bring out more Storm Monsuno. Anyway, that's my quickie review of Wave 2. Now, I admit there really wasn't much this time, but maybe in the fall when Wave 3 comes out and all that other cool stuff like the Bandolier and the Stuffed Animals comes out, Jack Specific will help me do a nice big review of those and we'll have some more fun with that. Anyway, until next time, this is Kodak signing off.